Hello and welcome to Study IQ. In this lecture, we will discuss about the new pension scheme or the national pension scheme. National pension scheme. The government introduced the national pension scheme or the new pension scheme in January 2004. In January 2004. So, this was for the central government employees except for employees in defense. So, central government employees except for defense. What was the new pension scheme or the national pension scheme? Earlier it was defined benefit. According to the new national pension scheme, it became defined contribution. So, earlier it was defined benefit and now it is defined contribution. So, it changed from defined benefit to defined contribution. What is meant by defined contribution? Under defined contribution, the employee also have to contribute to the pension. So, we will see what is the new defined contribution system or the new pension scheme. So, under the new pension scheme or the national pension scheme, there will be two tires. So, tire 1 and tire 2. Tire 1 and tire 2. So, in the tire 1, employee will contribute 10 percentage of his basic pay plus dearness allowance. So, under the tire 1, 10 percentage of basic pay and dearness allowance is contributed by the employee. So, under the tire 1, the government also contributes 10 percentage of basic pay and dearness allowance. So, under tire 1, 10 percentage contributed by the employee and 10 percentage by the government. So, this tire 1 contribution is compulsory. So, this is compulsory. Coming to the tire 2. In the tier 2, the employee can contribute any amount. So, employee can contribute any amount. The government will contribute no amount. So, under tier 2, employees are free to contribute any amount and the government will have no contribution. The tier 2 account is not compulsory. This is voluntary. So, this is voluntary. Tier 1 is compulsory. And one more thing. Tire 2 amount or the tire 2 money can be withdrawn before retirement but not tire 1. So, tire 2 this can be withdrawn before the retirement. So, this can be withdrawn before retirement and tire 1 only after retirement. So, this is after retirement and tire 2 this can be withdrawn before the retirement. Why was the national pension scheme or the new pension scheme in introduced? So, the aim of the government was to bring in a fiscal reform to reduce the burden of the government. So, we said that under the earlier pension scheme, it was defined benefit. So, it was defined benefit and now it is defined contribution. So, under defined contribution, the employee also contributes to the pension. So, under the defined contribution, because the employee contributes to the pension, what has happened? This has reduced the burden of the government. So, under the defined contribution, government burden has come down. So, the national pension scheme was a fiscal reform from the part of the government to reduce the burden of the government. And as we said, this was introduced in the year 2004. And in the year 2009, 2009, this scheme was opened up to the public which means open to all citizens in the country between the age group of 18 to 60 years. So, earlier we said when it was introduced in January 2004, this was for central government employees except in the defense sector. So, in 2009, the government opened the scheme for all citizens in the country between the age group of 18 to 60 years. So, 2009, this was opened to everyone in the country, all citizens between the age group of 18 to 60 years. And accordingly, they can open a NPS account, new pension scheme or the national pension scheme account. So, they can open NPS account 
and the account number is called pran permanent retirement account number so according to it they will get a pran pran means permanent retirement account number so in the year 2009 when the government had given this to opened up this to the public again this had two tires tire 1 and tire 2 so what is the speciality here let us see here also there are two tires tire 1 and tire 2 so tire 1 the account holder can contribute any amount so account holder any amount the government no contribution no contribution again tire 2 account holder can contribute any amount the government have no contribution so but coming to the central government employees tier 1 10 percentage is compulsory so tier 2 any amount but here in case of central government employees the government will contribute 10 percentage to the tier 1 but here there is no limit like the 10 percentage but government will not contribute anything so you should remember that and one more thing as in case of the central government employees here also the tier 1 amount can be withdrawn only after a specific period but tier 2 can be withdrawn any time and we said this was open to the general public in the year 2009 and what happened was in 2010 the government changed this name to swavalambhan so in 2010 the government changed the name to swavalambhan and according to the swavalambhan scheme if the contribution in the nps account is from 1000 to 12000 per annum in the tier 1 we said any amount can be contributed in the tier 1 by the general public so if this any amount is between 1000 and 12000 the government will contribute 1000 rupees per annum for the initial 5 years so here we said the government will not contribute anything but under the swavalambhan scheme the government will contribute 1000 rupees per annum for the first 5 years so when the name was changed to swavalambhan the government also contributed 1000 rupees per annum for the initial 5 years so this is a kind of micro pension scheme so this is the swavalambhan scheme so later on the government thought that the coverage under the swavalambhan scheme was inadequate due to non clarity of pension benefits at the age of 60 years so to address this concern the government announced a new initiative and that was known as the atal pension yojana so atal pension yojana was introduced so with the introduction of the adult pension yojana the enrollment under the swavalambhan plan was closed and also the eligible subscribers under the swavalambhan scheme are automatically migrated to the adult pension yojana so now let us see who all can join the new pension scheme or the national pension scheme first of all we said this was introduced for the central government employees so first of all central government employees can join so the date of joining should be after january 1st 2004 again the state government employees also can join the nps so nps is applicable to all the employees of state governments state autonomous bodies joining services after the date of notification by the respective state governments again corporates also can join a corporate would have the flexibility to join the nps it is their choice again any individual any indian citizen who is of 18 to 60 years of age including nris are eligible to apply for nps or new pension scheme so what is the minimum withdrawal from the nps so what is the minimum contribution in the nps so minimum contribution is rupees 6000 in the tier 1 account in a financial year so now we will look at the pension fund regulatory and development authority pfrda pfrda it is a pension fund regulatory and development authority so pfrda is a autonomous body set up by the government of india so this is an autonomous body the purpose of this body is to develop and regulate the pension market in india so you should understand what is pfrda not in detail but you should have an understanding what is pfrda so this is an autonomous body and also the purpose of this body is to develop and regulate the pension market so development and regulation of pension market in india also when you learn about the national pension scheme you should know what is the nps trust so national pension scheme trust 
so it has been set up and constituted for taking care of the assets and funds under the nps in the interest of beneficiaries that is the subscribers so the nps trust takes care of the assets and the funds of the nps also you should know the concept of pension fund managers what is pension fund managers so the money that is invested in nps so whatever money you are contributing to the national pension scheme it is managed by pfrda registered pension fund managers what is pfrda pension fund regulatory and development authority so some pension fund managers will be registered under the pension fund regulatory and development authority so those pension fund managers manages the money invested in the nps and now we have eight pension fund managers one is icici prudential pension fund lic pension fund kotak mahindra reliance capital sbi pension uti retirement solution hdfc pension and also dsp blackrock pension fund managers next we will see what is a trustee bank trustee bank so trustee bank is an intermediary who is responsible for the day to day flow of funds and banking facility so trustee bank will serve as the intermediary who will manage the day to day fund flow of funds so at present axis bank limited has been appointed by the pension fund regulatory and development authority as the trustee bank